Hello and welcome to Soda Tasting, an online show dedicated to soda reviews and appreciation. I'm Patrick O'Keefe, and today I'm joined by a couple of guests. Uh, my friend, Jonathan Bailey of PlagiarismToday.com, a blog dedicated to copyright and plagiarism news and information, and Garbage Horror, no. which is a uh, web show that focuses on reviewing um, horror movies of a certain quality. Uh, very low quality. Yes, <laughs> and, and you do that with your wife, Crystal. Yes. Okay, excellent. Hi, Crystal. Um, and this is my brother, Sean, who is a student at UNC Chapel Hill and is part of the FBI Improv Improvisational Comedy Group. Yep. Uh, we just uh, we just actually appeared on Beer and Board Games, uh, donated uh, some money uh, for a sponsorship on Beer and Board Games. That'll be coming out in a couple weeks, um, if anyone's interested in that series. Okay, and uh, their website is facebook.com slash factoryboysofimprov. Yep. Sean's been on the show before. This is Jonathan's first time, and to honor that, uh, we have a soda that he suggested. It is the Blenheim Ginger Ale Old Number no. Three Hot Red Cap, also known as the Pink, uh, cap. pink cap, right? Yeah. Because it, it does look pink. It is more pink than red, yeah. I, definitely. And this comes from the uh, the Blenheim Bottling Company. And there's a couple interesting notes here. From their website, they say that uh, Blenheim ginger ale is a southern tradition that dates back to the 1800s when Dr. C.R. May advised his patients with stomach ailments to drink the local mineral water flowing from the Blenheim, South Carolina Natural Spring. And you're from South Carolina? Yeah. Yep. Boy, medicine's come a long way. I'm <laughs> just saying that. And it says, when these patients <laughs> complained about the strong taste of the water, Dr. May added Jamaican ginger to it to conceal the mineral taste. Now, they make two other varieties. Number five, not as hot, gold cap. And number nine, diet white cap. Mm -hmm. So number three, five, and nine. Yeah. But there's no one, two, four, six, seven. What logic is a South Carolina <laughs> right. drink? Right. And and this is so for this particular version, they say, quote, our boldest flavor that tantalizes and tingles the taste buds and goes down as smoothly as a firecracker exploding in your throat. Some say its sinus clearing heat snatches their breath away for a bit, while others thrive on the explosion of spicy ginger essence. I'm nervous about this one, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, have you? It's been a long time, right? It has been. I've been in Louisiana for 12 years, and when I remember when I had this as a kid, I thought this was the hottest thing in the world. I'm hoping that's through child's eyes, though. And as an adult, I'm going to think different. And it's bottled in Hamer, South Carolina? Mm -hmm. Do you know where that is? is that uh, roughly. Near, okay. Uh, it's in an area. <laughs> okay, the ingredients are carbonated water. It's uh, sucrose. It's sweetened with sucrose. Citric acid, sodium benzoate, which is a preservative, natural flavoring, and caramel color. Uh, it has 170 calories and 12 ounces, and it is caffeine-free. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, obviously, we're going to pass out the cups here. Mm -hmm. Give it a taste now. I've, I've never had this before. Sean's never had this before. So well. from, this, from the build-out, from the sell-out, we're expecting to have our mouths just, you know, just burned off. I mean, if my right. throat is not have like a firecracker going off, I, you know what? I'm gonna complain. I mean, it's disappointment. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree. Okay. I have to read the statement. Yeah. So let's. Uh, huh? What do I have here? Here's a cold side. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oh. All right. Let's so let's see what we have here. I apparently bought you a very crappy <laughs> bottle opener as well. I wasn't, I wasn't specifically crediting you for the bottle opener, but yeah, it's there. You go. That was okay, my we're glorious good, we're good, we're good. gift yes. on meeting him. Okay, okay. Let's see here. Now, don't, no, I'm missing a pour it, so hold on. Hold on to your hands. Just don't, choke it down don't, or whatever. Don't just chug it. Yeah. <laughs> that might be a bad idea. I, I totally I, want I, to. I have a feeling you don't want to chug it. <laughs> oh. You're about the same as chugging alcohol. Okay, okay. And, uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool logo. Mm -hmm. It says it's from pure water, so. Pure water. Water. It's not eaten through the cup. That's oh. worth noting. It's a... Okay, it smells like ginger ale. I almost get, when I smell it, though, I get something, like, tingling. Yeah, you do. Because <laughs> I take a little smell. A little sinus -y there. Pop rocks. Yeah. All right, well, let's, uh, <laughs> let's take a taste. And I have uh, my bucket here, uh, but you guys don't have to see uh, it. No, okay. Mm. Cheers, guys. Here we go. Right. Yep. Okay, gentlemen, here we go. Oh man! Oh wow! Oh, holy! Good lord! I am. I'm sorry. That is oh. oh that is spicy. That is. Now here's the thing. Do I need to swallow this to get that? Probably yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I spit. I got a little bit of it. Maybe I'll swallow just a little bit. Oh god! Cheers, Mike. Oh jeez, they are, they are not kidding. That is some strong stuff. He just chugged the whole thing. Okay, I took a little taste, and yeah, I mean, it's burning going down. 
So <laughs> now you said something about you know the eyes of a child. How's your throat yeah. doing? How's it stand in the eyes? <laughs> you of know, a child? I've got to say, either age or Louisiana cooking for twelve years has, has, has deafened me to the uh, spice a lot. Oh, I am God. rather enjoying this actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's a nice kick there. I sense there will not be the same review from everyone at the end. Right. I mean, okay. So it has. Uh, you, you get the ginger ale flavor, very strong ginger flavor. Yeah. Um, there is kind of a, a spiciness to it that follows a kind of like spicy food, right? Where if you swallow the spicy food, you have My that. My eyes of, are watering. <laughs> yeah, that after burning, right? And. Uh, you know, I think it's a it's an interesting flavor. Oh. I think as it kind of hints to on the website, it's really a niche flavor. Yeah. I don't think this is a ginger ale for ginger ale drinkers. Uh, I think it's yeah. a ginger ale for people who really like the idea of this spicy, hot lemonade and feel like it. Yeah. You know, if you didn't get the sensation already from eating Mexican food, here you go. Um, this is for you. Yeah, this it, the thing is, you know, mm. spicy things in general, but especially spicy drinks, kind of have to be graded on a different scale because they have a different, like I said, niche audience yeah. that is going to view it in a different context than other people. So, I mean, yeah, it's something that's got to be kind of taken on its own world. It's hard to compare this against, you know, like Coca Cola, for example. It's, yeah. Yeah. I feel like with this soda, it actually makes me want to spit. It makes me want to join in the spitting. <laughs> yeah, because I have to say, in spitting it, I didn't get the, the down-the-throat spiciness. Yeah, I didn't get that spiciness. Just, Once it hits oof. your throat, that's where you really I've gotta feel the say, spiciness. I'm really grateful for Louisiana cooking now. I was apparently very well prepared. <laughs> or you're just pretending and hiding it. So. I, uh, <laughs> no, this time around, I'm actually okay. I might get another bottle later. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll see how you feel. Okay, just make choke us a feel bottle. worse. Yeah. Make us feel um, worse about ourselves. Thank you. Okay, so this is a unique soda, and it, it's kind of that makes it challenging to rate it. I think that the ginger flavor in this is really strong, and it's really good. I like it more than some of the other ginger ales I've had. I like it the ginger flavor more than, for example, the Boiling Bottle Works ginger ale that I reviewed previously. Uh, I think it's stronger, it's more pronounced. It, it's it's a pleasant ginger flavor. Of course, to get to the ginger flavor, you have to get past the spiciness of it. And walk the fire. And I think I think that's kind of the, the 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 factor here. If you love a spicy ginger ale or you're intrigued by it, I think you check this out because I think you'll like it. Um, me personally, it kind of takes away from the flavor. Unfortunately, it takes away from the ginger flavor of a ginger ale. So uh, I'm interested to try the the gold cap in the future. The uh, the conversion that's I guess without this spiciness, yeah. right? It's more of a traditional ginger ale. So I think that'll be interesting to see how that compares. But I feel like a two is a good rating for this one out of five, um, just because of that spiciness. I think it takes away from the flavor and makes it for for me and probably for most people, it makes it a really super niche flavor and something that you can't regularly drink or you don't want to. Um, but I would love to know what you think about spicy ginger ales. Um, have you had this? Have you had uh, Blenheim? Have you had another one? Let me know in the comments on SodaTasting.com or on YouTube. Um, Jonathan, John, thank um, you for joining me. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good to have you on. Um, and if you'd like to subscribe to receive uh, every show automatically, you can do so on YouTube, Facebook, Google+, Twitter, RSS, and email. You can find links to all of those shows at SodaTasting.com. As always, everything in moderation. And please spay and neuter your pets. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'll see you next time. <laughs>